Okay, so let's get started. Here I'm on getbootstrap.com and I'm just going to download the new bootstrap. I'm just going to put it on my desktop and then I'm going to unzip it and put the CSS in my CSS folder. But before that I'm just going to create a new index page and I'm just going to save it on my desktop in a folder and I'm going to call it new bootstrap. So now I'm in the new bootstrap folder. I've also unzipped the new bootstrap. Here's the CSS and the JavaScript files. I'm just going to take them out to the root and I'm just going to delete this one and also this folder. So now I'm left with the CSS index and the JavaScript files. So I'm going to quickly add them to my index page. So I quickly added the CSS and JavaScript files. So I first added the Bootstrap CSS, and then I added the JavaScript. I also downloaded jQuery, and then I also added my own CS, uh, JavaScript, which is not necessary. I'm just going to take that up. So basically, Bootstrap CSS, Bootstrap JS, and jQuery, uh, the jQuery library. So just put them in that order. So let's get started here. So I'm going to start by the typical container that wraps around the page and centers the page and just uh, with a single row. So now the difference uh, is that in the new bootstrap there's no class called span. I'll show you uh, what the new classes are. So let's start by making just a um, 12 column grid and the class you use is column large and then the number of columns here. So this indicates I am making 12 columns and large indicates that this is going to be 12 columns for large screens. I'm just going to give it class well so that you can see it down there. So this means that this div here is going to be treated as 12 columns in large screens. There's another class called column small and this is for medium sized uh, screens. So I can say that when the size of the window is within the range of medium sized devices, treat it as a six column grid. There's also another class which is the last one, third class, um, just, just column, and you can specify the number of grids, the, the number of columns, and in this case, let's say I want it to be five, so this means that when the size, the, video, uh, the viewport size is uh, within the small size devices, like mobile devices, uh, treat this div as a uh, five column uh, grid. So uh, let's actually put that in practice. So now I have it in a large screen, so it's treated as 12 grid. Now as I make it smaller, it becomes 6. Now I, if I get smaller than that, it becomes 5. So if I change this, instead of 5 to 2, you can see the obvious difference. So if I make it within the medium size, it's going to be 6. If it goes larger, it becomes 12. So that's the main difference. So let's uh, work on an example here. I'm just going to get rid of this here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a nav on the left and content on the right. I'm going to make it uh, different sizes and different uh, viewport sizes. So I'm going to make the sidebar. Uh, I'm going to give it um, six columns for large screens. Actually, let's give it three. Just uh, give it some content. So this is left side, and I'm gonna make the content. So what's the content? And that's gonna be nine for large screens. So that'll be under right. So just give it some content. So that's that. 
So here I defined uh, the grids for large screens. So let's also do it for medium-sized screens. So I'm going to say for medium-sized screens, make the left side 3 and make the right side um, 9. And as you can see, if I make it smaller, you can see the difference here. So the left is 3, the right is 9. And to see it actually happening, you can change it there. Uh, so it's actually it's happening. The other thing you can do is to specify the dimensions for very small devices, mobile devices. So I'm going to say make the left side bar um, 6 and also make the right side 6. So it's going to divide the content in half and it's going to be fluid there. And just again to see it happening, I can change it and you'll see that it's actually it's really cool. So there you go. That's a very simple introduction to grids. I'm going to put the code in the descriptions.